welcome to this session of rapid prototyping in this session we will discuss a new class of method called beam deposition so in beam deposition we are going to discuss two different technologies one is laser engineered net shaping and the another one is direct metal deposition laser engineered net shaping also known as lens lens and direct metal deposition is also known as dmd so in this session we will discuss about laser engineered net shaping that is lens now this technology lens that is laser engineered net shaping was originally developed by sandia national laboratories and the manufacturer that today is manufacturing this lens machines that was optomec incorporation so this company automatic incorporation was founded in 1997 and they are manufacturing this uh, lens machines since 1997 so what this laser engineered net shaping is it uses metal as a material to produce 3d printed metal parts so till now most of the technique that we have seen were for the materials which were either polymers or some other powders which were basically weak materials but there are very few technologies for rapid prototyping that can produce industrial strength metal parts which have industrial strength metals so this laser engineered mirror nap shaping is one of those techniques which can produce the industrial strength metals industrial grade metals Uh, which are standardly used in different industries. Uh, lens can utilize materials such as stainless steels. It can utilize tooling steel. It can even uh, manufacture titanium alloys. So titanium parts with 6% aluminium and 4% vanadium, that is titanium 6-4. It can also produce parts with this type of materials also. and other metallic and ceramic materials can also be manufactured using this laser engineered net shaping but this other metallic and ceramic materials that are mostly in the laboratory phase so other materials are mostly being uh, developed in the laboratory itself at the moment but these three are most commonly used materials in the industries now what is the process of laser engineered net shaping basically laser engineered net shaping will use a high power laser to melt powder metal and it will as uh, melt the powder metal as and when it comes to the contact of the laser on a particular point where your part is being built so we will have a anti yg laser so it is using a anti yg laser and we will focus that anti yg laser on a particular pool or point uh, on a very small point and we will have this entire nozzle arrangement which will deliver powder uh, and this powder of metal will be delivered directly at the point where the laser is being focused and when the powder comes at a point where the laser is it will be melted and this small droplets of the powder will be deposited on a part which is on a platform where you want to build the part or on a previously built part and the melted uh, droplets will get solidified and uh, this solidified uh, droplets eventually forms the entire cross section of a part and then we will move our platform in downward direction and this motion will eventually build the 3d part completely so this is the generalized process in a simplified way of this process called laser engineered net shaping now along with this melting when the melting happens there are chances that those small droplets will get oxidized in the uh, atmosphere due to the oxygen present in the atmosphere and as that 
temperature of metal will be very high when it comes in the contact of laser and it will be melted so chances are that that those will be oxidized when it comes in contact with atmospheric oxygen so to prevent that we are also providing a shielding gas normally we will provide argon gas along with this powder from the nozzle itself so that it will form a shielding gas and the prevention of this oxidization process can can be achieved so this is the entire process of this laser engineered net shaping process now this process is a trademark of the company which produces is that is optomain and the uh, as i have already informed you the laser that we use is ndyg laser and we will focus a high powered ndyg laser to melt the metal powder so the power requirement will be very high because we want to melt the powder and we want to melt it in very less time so that is also very uh, that is also a factor which will increase the requirement of the power now also you have to careful that you have to be careful that the laser will be focused on a small spot otherwise it will also melt the nearby material so uh, and when the one layer will be built uh, along with that we will move our platform downwards and the next layer will be built so in this process this laser point will be focused on a particular point only the laser head will not move but the entire platform will be given x y and z direction to build the three part so this is what the process of laser engineered net shaping is now here is a live example of the process where the laser engineered net shaping is being employed to build a part so here we are building a uh, blade like structure from the metal and the entire metal structure previously built metal structure is a curved shaped metal and we are building our next layer on top of it on top of this structure and these are four nozzles from which the powder particles will be coming on and argon will be supplied from this cavity and the in the center the laser will be there so this is the point of focus where the laser is being focused and all these four different nozzles will uh, supply the powder particles now these four nozzles also have its own advantage because we can use different materials in these nozzles and as these different materials uh, can produce a composite part then we can also have parts made of composite from this process now this is the example of uh, the similar uh, beam deposition method in which we are building a part by uh, giving x y motion and the z motion will be given simultaneously so our laser is focused on a particular point we are supplying materials from here we are supplying uh, gas from this a section and we are building the materials so this is the actual demonstration of the process now see here this time is in minutes so we can uh, see that this is not uh, that fast process that we observe here in the this small video but the time required will be very large it takes almost an hour to build this small section of the part now what will be the exam uh, advantages of this lens process the main advantage of this lens process compared to all the other processes is the superior material properties now 
the lens process that is laser and gated net shaping process is capable of producing fully dense metals so you can produce the uh, parts which have uh, similar properties or sometimes which will have superior properties than the parts manufactured with uh, conventional manufacturing methods all the prototyping techniques we have seen till now will produce parts which have properties which are inferior to the conventional method but this is the method which can match the properties of conventional method or sometimes it surpasses the uh, properties of the conventional method properties or material properties or strength of the conventional manufacturing processes also also you can uh, engineer the microstructure of the parts uh, using this process if you want so this is a major uh, uh, area of interest for someone who is working in uh, material properties who is working in metallurgy or who is working in material science and want to uh, produce a particular part with some particular microstructure so this process can be very helpful for those specific components also the another advantage is it can produce complex parts and it can produce functional method complex parts uh, which is actually the forte of the lens system so lens system is normally used for those functional metal complex parts where you can use these parts to build your prototype directly and as the lens process itself produces high strength superior quality fully dense parts you do not require any post processing so it reduces the requirement of post processing sometimes you want to clean your part or you want to do uh, some surface finishing operation but other than that no uh, post processing or no post curing is required to make your part more strong stronger so these are different advantages of this lens process now what will be the disadvantages of this process so first and foremost disadvantage is the material which is very limited so it produces only metal parts and also uh, in metal parts also there are very limited metal parts which are currently being used extensively in the industry the another disadvantage is the size of the unit so the entire machine entire setup for this lens process is very bulky very heavy so it requires very large area to put the uh, machine itself and the ndyg laser will consume very high amount of power to melt the part and it will require very high wattage wattage is basically the power requirement so the laser system will require very large power to melt the metals and to build the part when we can use this lens technique so we can use it to build different molds and dies in such we can uh, use it to produce polymer parts uh, in racing industry it is used to produce titanium parts uh, to replace the worn out parts in a uh, biomedical implant or biological implant we can use the titanium components of for biological implants which can be produced by this lens technology and it can produce functionally gradient structures that means that it can produce the structures which will have properties uh, which will have different properties as we move in a particular direction so it will start uh, it can produce a part which will have uh the highest strength at the bottom but as we go uh, towards upward it will have low strength or low density so it can produce uh, the parts which have optimal requirements of uh, material properties which will uh, reduce the overall effective weight of the material and uh, this type of component can be used in uh, aerospace application where the weight uh, is uh, one of the major criteria for any design so these are the different applications of this lens process and here is an example of the part produced by lens so this metallic hip implant 
is uh, produced by lens processing it was being used to uh, it was uh, used for uh, replacing or implanting a metallic hip in play where the hip was being damaged due to some accident etc so this is one of the uh, application but it has many other applications also also one of the application of this lens part is to repair uh, the components which are very critical and which will have re large lead time so you can uh, uh, have a component say engine of a big aircraft and it has some uh, cracks in it it has some uh, repairs that need to be done so either you can repair it or you can build an entire new engine from scratch but the previous conventional method do not provide any sufficient strong uh, mechanism to build those uh, uh, large critical components but this laser engineered net shaping can be used to repair those components so this will be all for this session of laser engineer net shipping happy learning